Good morning. This is day 15. Shall we indeed accept good from God and shall we not accept adversity? Job chapter 2 verse 10. An age-old question written by Dennis Dahan. When Jeremy was 17, he struggled with a question that theologians have wrestled with for centuries. For him, the problem was not theoretical, but practical. He was trying to understand why his mother had to have brain surgery. He asked, why do good people suffer, mom? She told him, suffering is part of living in a sin-cursed world and good people suffer like anybody else. That's why I'm glad we have Jesus. She then said that she could understand his frustration, but she told him not to put the blame on God. If you and I are baffled by the suffering of good people, we can put the question squarely before God, argue with him if we must, and struggle with our doubts, but let us not blame him. God didn't explain to Job what he was doing, but said that he could be trusted to do what is right. And he has assured us in his word that Jesus suffered on our behalf, rose from the dead, and is now preparing a suffering-free place for us. These may not be the answers we want, but they are the answers we need to help us live with that age-old and often unanswerable question of suffering. Why must I bear this pain? I cannot tell. I only know my Lord does all things well. So as I trust in God, my all in all, for he will bring me through whate'er befall. Or quote this morning reads, God is not obligated to give us answers, but he promises us his grace. End 